Hello, 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 everyone. This is Janet from Mixed Media Mama. I am coming to you today with probably my last example of what I do with Tracy Fox's daily digitals of December daily or daily December, I think is what she calls it. Go into the Foxy Crafters and here is all of her pertinent information. If you go to her Facebook page, the Foxy Crafters, you will see all kinds of absolutely wonderful examples and if you go to her youtube channel you will also see some wonderful examples of what she has done with daily december digitals she is a fabulous creator we all know that and how she makes some simple things it's just mind-blowing so i have like all of you have known i have did more of a collaging. I don't do the daily, but I do do kind of bring several days together and make it. As you have seen in my previous videos, I've already done three other little projects of hers using her digitals in her, the daily December. And this is going, probably going to be my last one before the holidays. And after between the two major holidays, I'm going to be going a different direction. So I am still going to be using her digitals of the daily Decembers, but I will just use them in different ways. And um, if it, it's just, but I won't be making any videos. Wanted to let you know that this is not my idea. I was inspired by Wendy over at Wendy's um, Journal Adventure on uh, YouTube. If you want to go, I will link all of her information and what exact video that I got this. This is a brilliant idea uh, using envelopes. And so what I just did, I'm going to show you really quickly, and then I'm just going to show you the hows of what if, what I did, and you can use the papers, the digitals in your way of doing it. Really, really simple. This is just a nice little clip to close it, and it's quite bulky, but this will go inside of a journal, and it is a... Um, quite a four page fold out, four envelope fold out. You'll see, just, just hang in there with me. So the front page is, the front is just a nice little envelope and it folds out and it folds out and it folds out. And there is nice tucks here. There's pockets here, a beautiful, and I will go through each one of them. And of course, the back is blank because that's where I'm going to attach it to the journal page. So the first one is just a nice little envelope. And the envelopes that I use, and I will explain that later. And you can see it is using her digitals. Now, before I really get in deep. I want to share that the digitals that I used on her daily December, December daily is days 10 through 13. Those digitals are the ones that I used in this project. So you guys can figure which ones, which parts. And I also did incorporate my own papers too. So you'll you'll see a little bit of that. But in the inside of this window, you'll see it is part of her tag that I just, I like that. I just wanted to have a nice little background color. This is also is just a little, little, little piece of her digitals. And also this. Uh, I did incorporate fabrics in here because I thought it really adds a nice and little visual texture. And this little um, circular, I don't know, you know, circular button. That was brilliant, Tracy. I love that Christmas assistant. That was just brilliant. And of course, a little nice little rub on and some more um, remnants of... You know some just remnants and here is that I just put right into there and I just use a file card a small file card and the background papers 
and that beautiful Christmas assistant, some tape, and also I believe, if I remember right, Tracy, in one of her videos, she colored some of her Tim Holtz people. I use, I did not use the same, I just used what I had on hand, and it was the, some um, crayons, it was not Tim Holtz crayons, but it was some other crayons that I used, and I, they were watercolor crayons, and they just turned out really cute, you know, kind of just made a little pink and some blue, it's just really cute, and it fits right in there. I just love how that turns out. It's kind of a chunky. You can see it, it, it pops up there, but that's okay. Then on the inside, I just really used on the inside of here um, some music paper. These are all of her digitals right here, the bingo and this piece. I love the edge, the torn edge look, so that's what I do that a lot. And of course, the sewing. And that is just a rub-on too, because I did not really want to take the time to take it to my sewer, sewing machine. And I've, of course, I already had that. And this is just a nice little tuck, another envelope. Actually, these envelopes are seed envelopes, and I'll explain to you even more. So this one's just using her, and this is just a, a nice... And a lot of the times I will back them on to, like I said, in dyed and baked index cards because I love that look. It's just a nice grungy look. And then on the inside, I'm going to set that down on the inside. This is the big envelope and I had a, a piece of an old calendar and it kind of is kind of shiny. You can see that shininess, but then I just made that one's one of her um, digitals. And of course I cut the slit off on the top of the envelope and made a tag, a really, really big tag using her pieces. This is really remnants. These two are the remnants of what I had. I, I tore, I tore this piece I already had um, I used this. I think I downsized. I think I reduced that when I printed it out. Some aged vintage tape, um, stamping washi tape, and some Denison labels from a stamp set that I've already had and posted that on a piece of, uh, this was one of the larger index cards that I had and that just goes right into that pocket and has that sit now and this is a nice little tag using leftovers basically this is a nice little postcard I think that was from 13 I'm not sure it's hard when I do this it's really hard for me to keep track which digitals are from which set or which day and you can see I did the same. I like to incorporate material. So this is just a little piece of material that I just glued between the, all the layers. And that is just a nice, same thing. So we opened this one and you can, it's the inside of the last two. I mean, it's just the inside of the envelopes there and i just collaged basically that's just a collage we all know how to collage and then using one of hers put it on the back of an index index card and same thing here this is just i this is just some old oh, i don't know i'm not even sure the some old paper that i had um, it was very very fragile and i just made a nice skinny just a nice skinny tag. Put that so it's some writing area and then I pull this out and here is another index card using her, um, Tracy's digitals on the back of an index card. Index cards are really, really easy to use. They come in handy. There's probably one of my number one things that I pull out and I use to strengthen because sometimes the copy paper um, when I print out digitals just isn't um, 
strong enough. You know, it's so thin. So that is it. But here's where I'm going to kind of give you the gists of how to make it. Um, again, this is not my idea. I just took it to my flair. This, you know, she, Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventure just really inspired me. So I just really did. Now, these envelopes, you need four envelopes. These the first three are smaller in size. And I just folded them down. As you can see, they are smaller in size. I believe this is mainly a normal um, small envelope. You can get them in a box, you know, at, at any office supply. Um, but anyway, so what you're going to do is that you're going to glue this shut. All right. And then you are going to... Let me... Cut, and then you're going to cut just a slit on the top and this is where you're going to have your ability to put a tag in the top okay and I always like to have notches because that will tell people that oh maybe there's something in there um, it, it just is a nice little thing you don't have to do that but that's that is the base of it okay this is going to be this green one these are just i had gotten these at target some time ago i don't know if they still have them they were in the free aisle or you know right when you come into target and and i really really love them i'm going to miss them when they get done in my stash but i got quite a few because i probably knew that i was gonna i, I was in my envelope craze time of the shopping so this is going to be this one with the window and you can kind of see there's a little notch these are called seed um, seed envelopes um, and so I am going to flip this up and I when I glue I'm not going to glue it clear to here I'm going to leave a possible maybe a good eighth and then i'm going to glue that to the back all right because when you get the other envelopes folded up here and as you could see in my other one it was kind of chunky so i am just going to put that and that's going to be the front and there again i slit this one down and made a punch tab so i can slide those in so I'm going to open that up. So then the next one is I am going to just glue this to this. And just glue glue this right onto the back side of that. There again, you may, because you can very carefully see the crease in there. I just notched it with a punch because then everybody knew I could have a little tuck spot there and I decorated that so then the very last one I did the same thing I glued this to there so that would be that and that would be here and there would be that and I arranged them because I wanted to have this one and this one. I like the different levels of them. So, and you just decorated them. That's really how it is. Wendy does a very wonderful example and she shows very simple. I love collaging so I use a lot of my leftover scraps from my main tags because as Tracy does her digital she always has some main beautiful tags and so I use that for a lot of the backgrounds and tucks and things like this and then I have all these scraps so I use those scraps and collaging and that's where I come up with all of this so if you have any inspiration from here please go and check out tracy's youtube and you can see that here and you can also go i will link everything below um, 
up to Wendy's journal adventure. And I know she'll say that she did not invent this herself. She, we're all inspired by each other. So that's how we, we just make it our own though. So thank you very much. I appreciate everything. Have a great day and Merry Christmas. Take care now. Bye.